Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be taking a look at the official iPhone 10 leather case uh, which is made by Apple. Now this case retails for £49, uh, 49 US dollars or I think it's about 4,200 Indian rupees and I've got this, the links in the description of this video to where you can actually go and buy them if you're buy it if you're interested from the Apple online store. Um, now the arrangement of the box here, I'm just going to take a look at the box, just the unboxing experience. The arrangement is very simple, all you have to do is kind of, can be a bit difficult, you can have to pull this tab open uh, and then just the tr tray slides out and then you can just have the case here just sitting. You can just pick it up and just take it out of the box um, and you've just got this case here. It's a very simple case obviously. Um, let me just put the box off to the side over here. Um, it will take a main look at the case. So taking a look at the case here, you can see that le the leather material over here looks very nice and um, particularly on this black model. Now speaking of colours, there are nine different colours I think um, and I'll just have a picture of them on the screen now. You can just see them, um, all the different varieties. I think there's much lighter ones. There's, I think there might be like a, a white one or one that's close to white and then you've got dark blue ones and you've obviously got this black one here. There's a product red version as usual Apple tend to do one of those but I, I think the black version looks works best with just about every iPhone 10 out there so whether you've got the silver or the, the space grey iPhone this will work great for either of those. Uh, obviously because it's a black case it just tends to work well with most of the different colours of device. So inside you can see here it's kind of lined with a microfiber lining, if I can just make that focus a bit better. Uh, you can see we've got this nice soft microfiber lining. So this is going to help you protect your phone when it's in the case and it'll prevent any sort of grit or any sort of dust that manages to get inside the case uh, from scratching the phone. Obviously very important with the iPhone X because it is glass on the front and back so obviously you want to try and minimize the amount of scratching and damage that happens to the back of the phone otherwise. So this case does have that which is nice. You've obviously got some nice branding here. Uh, I don't know if I can make that brighter or not but you can just about see it there. You've got some iPhone branding um, with some you know other uh, marketing stuff. Um, and you can see here, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on camera, if I can try and get it to focus. Um, you can see here we've got this lever which wraps all the way inside so instead of it just stopping kind of at the top here it goes all the way down to the bottom so right down to where the microfiber is you've got this leather material so you've got the full wrap around which I think is better because it will prevent it from peeling off over time so actually let me just go and get my iPhone 10 right now and we'll just drop it in I've got it here so what I can do is I can just uh, put it in I found the best way to install it is to sort of push the top in and slide it to the end and then once you've got that in uh, it might activate Siri push that down and then um, you have your iPhone in there and once it's in it is very snug so it sits in there and it's quite tight the way it fits on if I bring the phone close up you'll be able to see that I've actually got uh, it actually wraps over the edge a bit you can see the lever over here the, the case of maybe if I bring it to the side you can see that better uh, you can see it sort of wraps on so this will this means that the uh, let me just get rid of this notification uh, having it wrap over means that it's, it grips better onto the phone so it's less likely to fall out because I did have an iPhone 5S leather case and that like, one or two times actually fell out of the case because the case went up to the edges and stopped it didn't kind of wrap over the edge for the front so that's a nice thing to have I think because of the fact that it wraps over the top it goes a bit over the top of the glass as you can see there's a bit of a lip which means that if I place the phone down on a surface it won't scratch the glass obviously because uh, it's got that sort of lip and it's sort of raised up from the table uh, now we've got it turned over you can see these, this camera cut out and how it interacts with the actual camera module itself. Unlike previous iPhone cases this one doesn't actually have a plastic ring. Uh, because the camera module is so wide you don't need that because the reason the plastic ring was there on previous iPhone cases was to stop glare from the flash. However this time the flash is well away from the edges of the case so that's not a problem. Uh, you also notice we've got the insert Apple logo if I turn this towards the light. Uh, you can see this is a just sort of basically it's just a uh, pressed in Apple logo, um, which is nice to have. Obviously, this is the only I uh, iPhone case which is legally allowed, one of the only ones that are legally allowed to have uh, the Apple logo on it. So if that's something that matters to you, then obviously this is the case to get. Um, and obviously, Apple do make the silicon cases as well. But something which is unique to the leather cases, which the silicon cases don't get, are metal buttons. So this button here isn't actually leather, it's metal. 
Uh, I don't know whether it's aluminium. Uh, it might be. It kind of feels a bit like aluminium. But if I go to this side as well, you can see uh, the buttons are metal there. You can see they're sort of a bit shiny. And it does mean that when you press it, when you press the buttons, they actually feel clickier than the one on the phone. In the case of the iPhone 10, they actually feel clickier than the buttons on the actual the phone itself. Uh, and it does mean that, unlike other lever cases where you have to wait for the lever to wear in, this one it just works instantly and it's a really satisfying click so it's um, you're not going to have a problem interacting with your phone's buttons obviously with the iPhone 10 you do need that especially the side button for Siri and Apple Pay so it's good to have it designed in that way uh, if we just take a look at the front here you can see how it sort of interacts with the front of the display if I turn it on uh, you can see uh, it's like that also if you look at the bottom here we've got our little opening for the uh, accessories and the speakers now some people have said that this obviously doesn't offer as much protection as uh, other cases which are sort of closed up and just have gaps you know sort of holes for the different parts of the bottom i honestly prefer this type of design because i think it works better with other third party accessories this one is sort of open so it allows you to be able to connect sort of uh, different accessories uh, also the corners of the case these corners here um, do protect the f the phone on the bottom. I mean, if it lands, it's most likely going to land something like that if you drop it. Uh, it's unlikely to sort of land like that unless you're deliberately trying to drop it, in which case then um, you're a bit mad if to try to be doing this with an, a £999 phone. Uh, but uh, I don't really see that as a problem, personally, but some people might, so you might want to look elsewhere if you're looking for all-round full protection without a gap on the bottom. But that's basically it for the uh, the Apple case. It's a very simple case. It tends to work well. I've had it for about a week now, and it works very well. I've found it to be very well protective of my phone. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you've got any questions or comments on anything in this video, or you just want any general Apple tech advice, then do get in contact with me using the details that are in the description of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and you can also subscribe by hitting the logo in the middle of the screen. And also do consider watching the videos that are either side of that logo. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.